Hi, this is BC Rieger, and I'm doing a rambling by the river. It's uh, February 21st, 2019, and so many things are happening so fast, so wide, so expansive, so fun. Some instances so chaotic <laughs> for me personally, for all sorts of myriad of hundreds and tons of beings I come in contact with all the time, you know, directly in contact with, plus uh, all the other beings, the whole planet. Um, and I wanted to ramble a little bit here by the south fork of the Stilly River. Got to a place where there wasn't three feet of snow. <laughs> so, you can see pretty green water, stones, and the sun. So excuse the shades, but it was the only way I could get you a view of the south fork of the Stilly River and kind of see the camera because the sun is so beautiful. So I'm going to soak up some rays and ramble by the river. And I was nudged to ramble about just do it, just to jump. And you know, I could go all sorts of places with that. I laughed and I said, oh, well, that narrows it down. Because <laughs> um, even as I said it right now, a whole bunch of flows and angles and focuses and channels and currents came through of just trust yourself, just love yourself, just accept yourself, just have fun, just step out of fear, a whole host of things. And those would all be great ramblings. But this one this one wants to flow in the river here about just following your nudges. Just jump off to that thought you had, that feeling you had, that come on, let's do this that you had. Um, or the try this or play with that or and it's, it's beyond that, um, and we'll probably do a bigger conversation on this, because the energies, as, just as I started with, you know, the energies are beyond galactic, beyond <laughs> universe-wide, beyond multiverses-wide. They're just this immense, Good play. They're just um, these delicious, immense, unlimited, unbridled uh, flow. And it's not right now because um, this is staying. This is the new norm. This is how it is. It will expand from here, absolutely. But <laughs> but this space, these energies, what? the changes in everything that you're feeling, and you may label it, um, characterize it in all sorts of ways. Um, they're here to stay. So in that, with the nudges that come, with um, whether you follow your nudges a lot, whether you have not really any idea what a nudge is, whether you think you feel, hear, sense nudges, but kind of brush them aside. Um, it's that that calling to you, that that being being asked to communicate, being invited to play with the truth of who you are, the greater aspect of you, the totality of you, joining because that's what's happening. And the just jump sense 
is from the convergence of where I am, where you are, where we all are, so individually, collectively, in a cohesive uh, unit and collective, in not noticing, in not giving yourself the time, in not just pausing for a moment um, to hear, sense, feel those nudges, to tune in, to look around and go, oh, wow, that's a mess. Gosh, that's pretty scrambled. I got a lot of stuff cluttering up my physical space, my mental space, kind of blocks in my body, muscle cramps, whatever it is. So everybody's going to describe it in different ways. But in in not tuning into that, we're actually, and that being the nudges and the calling forth and the thought to expand a bit, to try different things, to play with things, to feel into things, to, to simply notice, to simply notice, and then move as you move nudge to as you feel moved to do so in not allowing yourself trusting yourself listening listening to that soft voice within yourself or as others speak about what you're calling for is more of the chaotic stuff more of the jumbled stuff, more of the disoriented and feeling disgruntled and uh, at e, at, you know, dis at ease and uh, kind of being tumbled in the river instead of flowing on a river with the sun streaming in your face and oh, it feels so good regardless that it's winter or the weather may be stormy. And the reason that is, is because you are, you are the magnitude of these energies that are fully engulfing the planet and the solar system and beyond, and the rays of them, the expansion of them. And so everything that is a distortion of the truth of who you are needs to come up, come off, um, flow away, disintegrate, dematerialize, shear off, cleave off. Um, and so that's brought right in the forefront to you to notice, unmistakably unequivocally, unavoidably, right there, for you. So kind of like a, a rock tumbler and the beautiful polished stones that come out of it, we're in the rock tumbler phase now. And um, so we choose to, to take active conscious part in it and that um, eases the flow and lets us have a role, a conscious role, a navigating role in all of it and then realize our power in it, realize that we're actually the motor to the rock tumbler and the belt and the sand and the container and the precious gem that's being polished. So one way to play with that is to notice, take a span of time in a day, take a whole day, a whole day is fun. Don't have to stop work, don't have to stop what else you're doing, just Lots of birds. Uh, 
come up with a system for you to just note down, however you do that, on a piece of paper, on a note on your phone, recording, whatever it is. And notice different things. And take note of the things that you notice. Do you notice the sun on your face? Do you notice a change in air currents, a change in temperature as you're walking, as you step outside, as you're just about to walk into a building? Do you notice temperature changes within a building? Do you notice how the light changes? Do you notice a thought? Do you notice a feeling within your body? Like all of a sudden, you know, you've got a, a pain or an ache and then it's gone and then it's over here. Do you notice changes in your vision? Something becomes really clear or your vision gets really soft? And that's, don't limit you know, I don't want to limit your noticing, but those are just a few examples. Do you get angry all of a sudden? Do you get sad all of a sudden? Do you get happy all of a sudden? And what do you notice when you have any of those feelings? What comes dancing right in behind it? Are there nudges? Are there you know, little hints, little pushes, little try that, little whispers, nudges to do something, look at something, play with something, be something, go somewhere, engage with something, carry that thought a little further, carry that idea a little broader, you know, expand your thinking on something. Because when you do that, well, it's <laughs> incredibly fun and very rewarding. And the sublime surprises that arrive right on your doorstep and knock on your door. And uh, the gifts that you unwrap um, are magnificent. Something you could never have guessed it just shows up. So that's the one side of the payoff. One side of the delight in that. The other is that with these energies, as I said before, um, that lets you control the shearing force lets you control the, the sword cleaving <laughs> the distortions off it to a small extent um, the little you in the shirt lets you control it to a small extent so that you can navigate it better and and um, because all that distortion's got to go and even in the moments when distortion is Coming up, distortion is being highlighted um, and distortion is being rubbed away, tumbled away, cleaved off. Um, there are these amazing glimmers of stuff, you know, like you. This is just Riverstone, but you pick up a rock and you think, oh, you know, eh, it's just a rock. And you look at it and you notice things on it. You might notice mica glinting in it. You might notice streaks of color in it. You might notice, you know, if you polish it, there's a little bit of something in there that's reflecting, refracting more light or like a rainbow kind of color in there. And in this metaphor, that's you. That's the brilliance of who you are and the unique makeup of you and your energy signature. That sovereign being, that special singularity that you are becoming. Unique in all of the multiverses. And, you know, in that wholeness of what you are being polished to reveal, 
is that unity with all, that all-encompassing, all-inclusive, integral, integrated part of the symphony that is source. And all the deliciousness in all its complexity and its subtle simplicity that is what is all. So just to finish the rambling, you know, um, playing with that and taking an active role will make the journey a lot easier, a lot smoother, a lot less perceived chaotic and stressful and struggle and trauma and stuff. And we're all flowing in the river of love and we're all expanding back to our essence in physical form, you know, all of us imploding, all aspects of us imploding into us, creating that third thing in our own personal triad. And um, we'll get there either way. We will be that magnificent, brilliant, crystalline, polished structure either way. you don't like the roughness, if you don't like the choppiness, then jump in, jump off, and take an active role. But either way, what you are becoming, what you are unfolding into, is cosmically delicious. I'm enjoying it in me. I'm enjoying it all the new things that I see within me, that I encounter within me, that I encounter and see and connect with in each one of you. All the new magical things that occur and happen. For me personally, as I connect with other people, other beings, either right next to me or in various different ways, um, it's so fun. In so many ways, so unexpected, such delicious surprises. Um, and I already looked at things from a pretty expansive view. <laughs> And it's so much more delicious than I already characterize it as being delicious. So have fun with it. And you're flowing into the magnificence of who you are in the singularity that you're becoming. So choose. Just do it and jump in. Or tumble your way down the river of love come out the other side. I love you. <laughs>